Hey guys, I'm back with something just a little different. I've been thinking about, well, bringing this game back up because I actually really, really like it. Um, it's just been a while, and where's my where's my picture? Not doing the thing. Video. Would you please start capturing? There it is. There's the game. Now you can see it. But yeah, Derail Valley Overhauled. It's been... Oh, look at that. It's been probably half a year since I played it, but I really kind of like it. Oh, this is the fast movement thingy, thingamajig. Get the comms radio. Yeah. So, I, I want to figure out if this is something I may want to make a couple videos about every once in a while. It's like ETS2 and uh, TSW, where it's... Um, it's not really serious, but it's always fun to do something with it. You want me to press it, put it back on the desk by pressing G. Oh, that's cute. That's loud. Pick up the shunter manual. Obviously, that's... It's up there. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Ooh, ah, uh, yep, yeah, brakes is important. Store it. Take it. Store it. Cool. One, two... Oh gosh, it's been a while. Alright, get on the train now. Yes sir, will do. Let's see, my chat is not doing the thing that I wanted to do. Now it is, now I can actually see it. That's much better. So yeah, if you've never played this, you can jump by pressing. Thanks. If you've never played this game, let me tell you, it's by Alt Future. Uh, Alt, I don't know the name of the company that makes this, but it's an early access because most of the games I play are early access, and it's actually pretty fun. It's a little different than Train Some World, as in you actually have less controls but more control, if that makes sense. I want to see. Do I have graphics? Detail level. Screen resolution. This one. Um, everything else super high. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can run all of this. Real time reflection. Sure. I mean, see, see if we can do all the things. Um, not sure if much change, but it looks pretty enough. But this also has a virtual reality mode. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So, take out the shunter manual to follow the ignition procedure. Do I have to... Step 1. Flip the fuse box and switches. Um, okay, go away. Flip, flip, flip. Did I do it wrong already? No, I clicked all of them. Oh, I have to do the left two ones first, and then I can do this one. Then I can do this one. Ah, uh, you hear that? Yeah, it's turning on. Park the locomotive outside. You can press X to sit. That might be new. X. Yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> uh, let's do this a little less loud just for myself. That's good. Park the locomotive outside. Okay. Oh, in TSW, right click um, gives you the focus on just looking at what you want to look at. Uh, but not here. So, forward, a little too fast. Turn right, oh. Can I change my field of view? I would like a little more. This is all set to the thing. I didn't see anything change, so that's kind of impressive, but that's okay. Um, game, crossbar, career difficulty, yeah, that's fine. Don't care, cap, highlight, field of view. There you go. Maybe 70? I don't, I don't have to go crazy. I do like that they tell me what the default values are and everything. Stop you. I'm gonna use brake to stop past the switch. I, I would like to. Wonderful. Let's get our locomotive and do some maintenance work for now. Why not? Take your comms radio. Yes, right there. 
Aim at the switch and press the left button. Cool. Again, it's less controls, but more control. I like it. Now fix the derail car back in the thing. Come to the car in the shed. Um, can I drive there, please? If you actually watch their, um... Oh, this is great. This is awesome. Yep. Um, if you watch any of their previews or any of their videos that they put out... Game volume high compared to voice. Thank you! I did not change the actual game volume yet. That's a mistake. Audio, sound volume, 20% is usually what I play with. Radio signal loss, interesting. Should be a lot better now, I hope. Not sure if you can even hear the locomotive anymore, but I'd rather have you hear me than nothing. Um, yeah. Bring the locomotive to the car. I can do that. Get you in here, get you out there. Uh-oh. Then you have to stop, and now we need to do the coupling. For coupling, you have a bunch of different options here. There's this guy, and I only remember this from first time playing, and you have to connect it. Great, now the cars are connected. These are the brake connectors. They are important for later, uh, otherwise you can't brake. And then this one is the multiple unit um, thing, where I can put as many of these shunters together and essentially make one big locomotive. Maybe before I can. Uh, now I need the coupling manual. Uh, but I am coupled. Let me... Let me out. Cool. My voice is much better. <laughs> Thank you. I think. I do find it important that YouTubers should be understandable more than you want to hear the music. Otherwise, just play the music. Don't talk over it. So I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, I, I already did all this. Track designation. Input, output, storage, cargo transfer, passenger transfer, passenger storage, parking. Interesting. Actually, I didn't want to start playing this game again until um, the passenger stuff is done. But everything is coupled. What do you What do you mean me to do now? Did I Did I do things too much? You can crouch. Yes, I, I I'm aware. Uh, decouple, couple, decouple. Couple. Uh, decouple. Can I? Uh huh. Uh huh. Sorry. Did I break the tutorial already? <laughs> Please tell me I don't have to do all of this again. Um, train basics. Coupling. Yes, I did all that. I did all that. I did all that. Uncoupling. Couple the two vehicles by following the train basics manual. Yeah, I, I've still done that. Um, there's a chance it still lets me leave without completing everything. So let's see what happens. Uh, forwards. Brake off. That's the train back. Uh, it's different. And forwards is always braking and backwards is always not braking. And you're not on. Can I leave? Let me leave, please. Brake pipe pressure, astute. Oh, <laughs> I know what it's telling me. There's another little switch that I didn't press. That one. Same one right here. I didn't say you should disconnect. Not quite what this was supposed to do. Come on. There. There you go. Now everything is connected, and you... No, not you. You. Open. Open. Great job, it's time to get your license. <laughs> oh, and I even went on the wrong switch. That's smart. Now I can redo that, and that thing has to go right up to the bumper there. That's what I get for doing the wrong thing, and thinking I'm doing the right thing. Uh, yes, graphics look a lot better now than they did before. Insert in the job validator. Yes, no problem. Inserting. License. I'm a train driver. 
What else am I? Ah, come here. DE2. Yeah, that's what I was just driving. What's this? Freight haul. I can haul freight now. Beautiful. And a key. Unlock your locker. Where's my locker? Cool. Um, interesting. It's a map! Schematic station maps. This is really important because without this, I'll show you. You will never know where any of these um, sightings are. And you can't shunt without this. This is awesome. Uh, money because, why not? 2,000. Wow. Derail Valley Guide. I'll probably need that at some point. Uh, yep. See that? Access the pause menu by pressing escape. Select a wallet to see your balance. Ooh, wallet. Balance. Retrieving a world beyond map menu 2. Press escape. Thanks. Map. Yep. Left alt and move your mouse. You can interact with the thing. Left alt. I wouldn't call this interacting, but... Oh, you can fast travel and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Once you make some cash, you can fast travel using the map. As a train driver, you're now ready to take this train to the nearby steel mill. Let's bring the train back to where it was so we can get out of this thing. Because I should have just switched the switch before I did the thing. But I didn't. Man, they, they did some upgrades on the, on the lighting and on the graphics in general. I gotta say, I like it. I like it a lot. Go that way, go this way. Can't see anything. The brake pipe should be charging. Oh, the brake, the brake was on. <laughs> that usually doesn't really help. Okay, let's try not to derail too hard. Sorry, braking a little bit. We're just braking with the locomotive now. Yep, that's good. Brake. That was the bumper. And now, comms radio. Where is it? There. I want you in one. It's not how that works. Try again. Um, comms radio. Yeah. Put it here. Cool. Now when I press one, I get it. And I'm switching that one. Switch to the other one. Cool. Let's get to the steel mill because that's where they say I should go. Maybe I need a bigger field of view, but I think this is fine for now. So here we go. Oh, there's not even a door on this side. This is great. I think at some point that was. But now you can place things here, like... Not the station map. Uh, world map. G. Now I can see it here without doing something. And I can still pick it up if I really want to. And the game is awesome because you have wheel slip and that breaks down your your wheels a little faster than usual. And there's uphill, downhill. Um, you've picked up some small speed. Release the throttle completely because this will drastically reduce your fuel consumption. Yes, fuel consumption is a thing. You actually have to pay for fuel in this game. Um, that tells you there's a Y junction coming up. So hopefully we have the right thing. Um, how do I... Now that's how I crouch. How do I snipe? Oh, right mouse button. Makes sense. Uh, put that away. Throttle up. I know that just said something different. Uh, let's bring the train to a halt before the next switch. Brake now. But just sped up. Train brake! Switch is set correctly. What do you want from me, buddy? Check out the schematic station map and open the steel mill page. Oh, this is just stuff that I already told you. Station map. Steel mill page. That is... Steel mill. Cool. Can't read it from OT inventory. See the service point icon there? We're going to approach it from the northeast. Service point is at the very bottom. Change the switch ahead. Yes. Switched. Raise your brake. Give it a moment to pressurize before accelerating. Makes sense. So you release it. Now this little bar is going up. Until it hits three, I think, is what you want to go for. And then you can go. Otherwise you're going to drag your cars for a little while. If you're a train driver, this is not new to you. But in this game, you've never played it before. There's a lot of little things, even though everything looks kind of simple. It's not a simple game. It's a fun game, though. You can put the headlights on. Headlights on. You can... Horn, horn. 
cab light, obviously, but all of this uses energy. And then there's a little fan. What are we doing here? We're doing great. Park the train into the service point. But I have a car behind me. Am I supposed to have that there? Uh, what else do we have here? Brake pipe. RPM AV. Not sure what that means. This engine temperature. Um, it's pulling in cool air from the front, but no cool air from the back. So if you drive backwards, your engine will overheat easier. If you drive the correct way, it won't. So that's important. Uh, sand. If you have wheel slipped, you can help that a little bit by applying some sand. That is helpful. Um, and yeah, there, there's a lot of cool things. This is the first locomotive. Uh, the DE6. Oh, there's, there's the big diesel. Um, that one is fun. Never played it before. I heard it's maybe a little complicated. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Good job. <laughs> we'll stay here for servicing. Let's get another one for you. We'll take a new job. Okay. Oh yeah, you can go. You can always go to any locomotive that you see, as long as as you have a license for it. Uh, this is great. One more. Mm, one less. <laughs> this is complicated. Uh, how complicated is this? Well, I can never see what I'm actually pointing at, so I always have to triple check that. Park the logo on the thing. Yes. And apparently there are two different versions of this one. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. I never know which one I currently have. There's a tree in my cab. Okay, so to turn it on, click, click, clickety, turn. We are on, brakes are off. Forwards, uh, obviously headlights, because why not? And move a little bit. We want to stop on the turntable. Take you back. I'm just stepping back a little bit so I can actually see what we're trying to do. Um, good enough. I am on the turntable. Why? Come on, tutorial. This is why I'm showing you what I'm doing because I have to do this tutorial regardless. Every time there's a big update, there's a new tutorial that you have to go through. I think that's okay. They sometimes add a couple features that are actually pretty neat. And sometimes they don't. Nope, wrong way. Actually, right way. This is the only way you can turn your locomotives. Well, no, it's not true. There's some um, Y junctions. You can also turn them around there. But you see this? It's taking an air on this side. If we go to the other side and turn around. There's no air intake on this side, so it takes on more heat if it goes backwards. So drive forwards if you can. These are little shunters. They're not really made for long distances, but if you really have to, just make sure you do it right. Fantastic. Now I'll show you the station office. Go there on foot. Remember that you can you can dash. Um, apparently I'm not doing this, so... F, 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 F. F is just, just a quick... Not teleport, but it's a fast jump, so you don't have to run everywhere. Um, here we go. Ooh, money. A hundred dollars. That's not really that much. Uh, press confirm to pay. What am I paying for? Uh, 92. Yes. Confirm. B, hundred dollars, because that's my, um, deductible. Wallet. Insert the whole wallet there. Click... Confirm. Cool. Did the thing. Um, you have to do this every once in a while, but honestly, you get used to it, and then it's just fine. Nice to Now, for you to take your first job, find one that's your license and insert in the job validator. Logistics Hall, $9,000. That's a great price. But if you look at the, let's see, if you look at the bottom here, it needs a long license and a DVHR license. I'm not even sure what that stands for, but we don't have that, so... Check it. Logistics Hall, this one again. Different licenses. This one needs DVHR. This one is shunting. We don't have a shunting license. Um, I think green is what we can do. Freight, freight Hall, Freight Hall. 
7,000, 9,000. What else? 20,000. You need long for this one. We can't do that. So this one is paying 10,000. That's pretty good. It only has four different cars. That is pretty nice. And it's paying really good. And you always get a bonus if you're fast. So let's do this one job. You go in here, take out the thing, and then you figure out plan your trip ahead before departing by referring to your maps. Depending on the direction of travel, you might need to reorient the locomotive at the turntable. That is true, but it's only four cars and we'll be fine. That's it. Now you're on your own. Yep. Um, so this one is telling me freight hall, grab those four cars. If I scroll, they're on SMB40 track. Let's find it. B3I, B6, B7, um, is this B40? No, this is the fruit track. It wouldn't be on here, would it? Oh, B40. It's the middle one. So, okay, that's that. And then take it to goods factory and town. It appears that my, why do I have two station maps here? It appears that I left my map in the first one. Let's see, can I do this? I can, wonderful. Um, <laughs> I already forgot where I'm going. Goods factory in town. Goods factory in town is right over here and we are currently this little blue arrow. So we have to go this way. It's a pretty straight shot let's not run into the tutorial area and there's one more switch we have to flip here and there's a bridge over here that we should be able to get over yep there's a bridge so easy enough that's all we have to do find a loco is there one parked here anywhere i'm gonna go with generally no that's okay so let's just grab the one that i parked here nicely it's actually pointed the right way already so this is this is going to be helpful um don't know why they always have to turn off all the time but it's okay um break off four warts go give me some light give me some more light that is nice probably don't need a fan i hope i don't emergency engine shut off so when you crash you can also turn it off so you don't have too much environmental damage because the further you're along in the game the more it charges you for everything you do wrong i think it's a cool feature it can be annoying for sure but i think it's a cool feature for right now okay turn that off once we are past the next switch we can turn around and then we just have to couple up and race up the mountain and try to stay on the track try to not do what the name implies so where's my com radio there we go thank you um revert reverse you can do this in vr and i'm sure it's lovely i have heard it's not fully fleshed out for vr but it's more than usable so it's up to you to use it or not where did i put it Tom's radio, go to one. Um, we want B40. B40 is left, which means the first signal here needs to be left. The next signal over, not that one. This signal needs to be that way. And now we're pretty good. Um, you can connect pretty well maybe hard but you don't well you can connect relatively hard but at some point stuff will derail it could be your locomotive or it could be the rail cars um one thing or the other will derail we are going almost 20 units i don't know if it's kilometer or miles it probably says in there kilometers per hour um i find if you're under 10 you're usually good so let's slow it down a little too much we're under 10 already and then you have to apply the brake when you are actually docked otherwise you will roll away so let's do this everything is nice and compressed that's awesome connect you there connect you here 
close you, open you, and open you. Uh, if these are open, I believe, the brake pressure is on, so if your cars ever run away, um, you can brake them that way if you really have to. Let's double check the consist. There are only four cars here, so everything is fine. Jump in the shunter and let's go to where we need to go. Goods factory in town. How is everyone doing tonight? I, I don't think I've asked that yet. I think it's a very important question because if you're doing great, I want to hear about it. If you're doing bad and you want to talk about it, I also want to hear about it. Otherwise, you don't have to tell me if you're doing bad. That's fine. Uh, brake pressure is going up. It's a pretty heavy haul, apparently, because there's a couple rolls of steel over there. And that is neat. But the nice thing in this game, you can actually slowly increase your speed and things are doing well. Wheel slip. Get some sand in there, no more wheel slip. Sand, wheel slip. You don't want to run out of sand because when you need it and you don't have it, you will have a problem. And we are at a good speed. We're just at about 25. That is not too bad for get by here. And that number over there, the number in the red circles, they are your speed limit divided by 10. It's more for you, that you can actually read it from other places. So we can go 60 up here. Perfect. Um, give a little more. Jay, this game is actually pretty fun, and I think it's only 20 bucks unless I change the price. It's totally worth it. It's, if you like trains, you will like this game. Right now, there are only three vehicles in the game. One is a steam locomotive, and you actually have to shovel the coals. Um, one is... Let's not go in the training area. One is... And we're going a little fast. Let's slow down just a smidge. There we go. Um, on steam locomotive, and you have to shovel coals. One is a, another diesel train. It's a big one. It's like a beefy one. And then there's this one, but they're working on a lot more stuff. If you look at their um, roadmap, there's a lot of stuff planned. They even have some passenger services and other things, and it's, it's neat. It's a wide-open um, sandbox game. Right now, this is all you get, but I don't know where you need more. You have jobs everywhere, and you can do a lot of things. You can spend a lot of hours in this game. It's... Yeah, it's just pretty neat. So, when we get there... What are we doing here on speed? Speed looks fine. We're doing 60. We're not idling. Maybe I can go a little more. Because we are going... There are actually signs that tell you if you're going uphill or downhill, but we'll pay attention to it. 80. Let's go a little more. Now we're going forward, so the heat shouldn't be a real issue. Um, I wanted to figure out where I actually have to take it. D6I is my track. Let's slow down a little bit. We're not going 70 yet at all. So, D6I. I have to figure out where that is. So let's get the station map out. We're going to Goods Factory in town. Not Factory Town, Goods Factory. GF. D is on the way back here. And then we go back go all the way until we find letter D. Um and let's see here, where are we? The only thing I want to make sure is that I don't miss this junction that's coming up because it has to be set right. Otherwise we're gonna to have to backtrack. And nobody wants to backtrack. Uh station map. Cool. Um, D6I. So if we look here, it is the second from the right. Actually, yeah, no. I think we're going to come in on this side. I'm always confused by this. But I think we're going to come in on this side, and we have to right, 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 left. Um, and we only have to drop it off there, so I could even go through with my train, unless there are any other cars already on 6I, which there's a good chance that there aren't. Because you, often there aren't, especially in the first couple jobs that you do, unless you leave cars there. Sometimes they despawn, and sometimes they don't. Unless they change that. But that's all set up. That's what we're going to do. Speed up a little bit. I thought I saw a 90 there. What's going on here? Bardog! No, please not. Um, I must have missed it. I'm about 5 or 6 seconds ahead of you before... Before you hear what I said, it's 5, uh, five or 6 seconds after I said it already. Hey, damn, sounds like fun. Have you driven the steam logo? I've heard from friends it's hard to do. 
I have on a previous save, and it is actually relatively hard because it's so beefy, but you actually have to be pretty active doing things, like you have to shovel coal, make sure the temperature is right, regulate the pressure gauges. Like here, if you look, there is heat. Yeah, let's regulate that by turning off the throttle. Now you actually have to regulate only what? There's two brakes, a throttle, a direction, and a few gauges, there's not much else to do. If you're in a Steam logo, you have about 12 times this much. There's a lot more going on. You have to regulate different pressures and brakes and there are different wheels and different things that are going on. It is super cool. You also, the, the license is super expensive, so it's gonna take you a little while to get there, but it is, I, I like it, I like it. But again, every time there's a new update, they right now reset you, which I think is fine. I'm looking for the next switch. You're saying I can go 60 here. I am going just about 60, so that should be fine. And I'm rolling down a hill, so slowing down will be hard. But the next switch needs to be right. Switch. And not right. There we go. And you're saying right 50. We can slow down a little bit. Yeah, that works. Now we go straight through here. There are no outside uh, camera angles as far as I know. That may be wrong, but as far as I know, that's the thing. Oh, but we can look at, at our trains from back here. Nice and loud when the cabin is a little better, but all that looks good. Uh, we can go back up to 70 up here, it appears here. Let's do that. So there's a lot of this, um, and you can make it as complicated as you want, because right now I'm just beginning and it can only take one job at a time. Once I have multiple units and multiple jobs, I can take as many jobs as I'm allowed, and at some point I think it's unlimited. And uh, then you can build your consists of trains together, make a really long big train, and that's what you need, the big steam logo or the big DE6. I don't know what the big diesel locomotive is called. Is this really lagging at me, on me? Something is not feeling right. Um, graphics. Let's go with... Not this. Yeah, it feels a little better. Um, so you can make the consist of your train as big as you like. Too much. A little less. There you go. And that's when the fun begins for me. Because you can just... You're, you're your own... Your own everything. You... you direct everything that goes on in this game and yeah it's fun and they actually added these little blue I can't show you but there's a blue a blue connector here you can connect as many of these little diesel shunter trains as you want and then you can just pull everything up the train uh, up the up the mountain at the beginning I did this with just a couple of these units together but they were coupled back to back and I would drive them separately, jump from one to the other, um, and that worked, but it was a lot of work. So, yeah, it, I wouldn't recommend it. With the new system, you can actually connect them with one in the front and one in the back, or multiple in the front and multiple in the back. It, it's pretty cool. They just all have to be running, and it, it works. You can just get a really, really big train together. Now, um, you can upgrade your licenses, but the more licenses you have, the more expensive it is, more expensive it gets to reset your vehicles. Like, I'm using fuel right now. Where is it? Fuel. I'm using fuel right now. I used a little bit of sand. I'm using a little bit of wheels because I had wheel slip and a bunch of other things. Um, all of that, someone has to pay for, and that someone is you. So... Yeah, it's... But there's a deductible at the beginning, so you don't have to pay a lot. I think it's 100 right now for my current license, but the more licenses you get, that deductible goes up. And at some point, you just have to go to the service bay to get anything done, which is okay, which is totally fine. Uh, let's slow this down. Um, let's set to right. 50 to go through here, so let's do this. And we set right, 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 left. I'm essentially going, this, the last switch has to stay 
left. Then we would go to 6i. So we we'll go through here. Why are we still going so slow? Brakes? Brakes are fine. Cool. Making sure we're still here. Um, there's a switch here that I know one goes all the way around in a circle and one goes through. We're gonna go around. Because I want to drop this, um, this whole consist just off on the other side and they'll be fine. Um, Jay, this doesn't pertain to the game, but what are you wanting for workers and resources to improve on or add? I'm hoping they add actual highway implementation, that would be great. Well, they have a lot of things that they can adjust. I would like to use resources for more things than just one or two current things in game. It's too simple to set it. Like, the chemical industry is a good example of how you could expand on everything. Um, say, like, chemicals are used in a lot of places, but reused again. Like, electrical components are not easy to get to because you need plastic and steel and chemicals, I think. You need all of those. But for plastics, you also need chemicals. So let's build all the different... Um, resources we already have into more aspects of the game is kind of what I'm going for. Or what I'm hoping for. But just overall, the game has so many things that they could do. Um, it's really hard to say, just pick one out. And the highway system, I think right now, with the new beta branch that is coming out very soon, I hope, for you guys, um, highway systems are already a thing because now you can go all parallel and um, just make it one way and then it's all working so I would say the highway system is pretty much there um, what else is there I mean we have now helicopters which means we can or we will sorry when I'm saying we have it the internal test branch has it um, beta branch is not out yet and if you watch the live stream today there were a lot of crashes still on my main safe or season one, which is not, we're not playing anymore. But there's a reason it's not available for everyone. Um, but yeah, so we have helicopters, which means we can do more remote stuff, which is great. Do I have to uncouple you? Uncouple following cars at station track. Yes, I do. Um, we should be on the correct track. Let's do this, 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 decouple. Yep, yep and go to the station house um yeah I, I think that's very important because otherwise it's really hard to build up on a mountain a lot of people complain about that they can't get up the mountain or can't get the roads right all that stuff now with um helicopters you have an option to not do that but the way it is right now helicopters are not that fast at building anything which i find is a great thing yay i got stuff um throw you away Oops. Um, where is my wallet? There's my wallet. Cool. I made ten thousand dollars. Here, here are the licenses I was talking about. You can go in here, and then you see train driver. Yep, got it. Freight hall. Cool. Shunting is a thousand to do, but if I do that, my fees right now, just for that train, it's over ten thousand. But if I go confirm, I only have a hundred dollar. Um, deductible to pay and actually i can probably just pay that insert wallet wallet do the thing confirm cool everything's happy um and now you can buy licenses and all that but the more licenses you have the more expensive everything becomes so stay on the first license just for a little while so you can figure it out so jay yes no that there are a lot of things that will be cool um i'm super excited for the recycling industry which i'm not sure if it's fully planned yet but they just added a way to rebuild a building with a new blueprint if it burns down. That is cool. But I also want to have a way for if you want to destroy anything, you need to send uh, contractors also actually take the building apart and then recycle those components. I think that would be cool. Um, bicycles are a thing that are on the list. I think general trash and garbage collection are a thing for the buildings there, there's a lot of things i'm i'm more on the side of city builder i know that a lot of people are looking at the military and war and all that side of stuff more like an rts game um and everyone their own that that's cool 
Also, this game seems very particular on simulation. I love that. Yeah, it's... Honestly, it's really fun. And it's also early access. I am very much looking forward uh, for passenger services. And I don't know if you noticed, but I drove and it was all single track and there was no other train anywhere. They are talking about adding um, actual services that run inside on the map. So you're not the only ones driving anymore. So then signals become important and other things. I'm excited for that. Helicopters seem nice, especially for fire and medical. Um, if they implement them right. For medical, they seem OP. Uh, don't like them. For fire right now, they seem the opposite of OP. Because the range of the helicopter is so, so small. Right now, the range is the same as the fire station if it was, was connected by road. And I don't like that because I want to use those fire stations in remote cities to service all of the surrounding farms and smaller industries. Bigger industries can get their own thing because they need more workers, but farms don't need workers. But I still want to have a way to put out fires if I have to. So I hope they change that. Um, just to know and just completed my 50 line train yard. Your video was perfect, Nate. Yeah, glad you liked it. What is this game? It's called Derail Valley Overhauled. Um, they had a first version, wasn't great, and then they have a second version, which is what I'm playing. It's still in early access. It's super cool. Um, you just drive trains. If you like trains in world, you will love this one. Um, I described it earlier as there are a lot less controls, but you have a lot more control to do something. So all the vehicles are different to drive. I don't want to say easier, but they're different. But you can do a lot more in the world. Where on Trains and World, you can make a schedule now and other things, but you're still on a route and it's kind of kind of locked down. Here, you see the routes are all these lines and they go to different places and every place has different jobs for you and different reasons. And then you can upgrade your licenses and get bigger machines that you can drive. And it's, it's cool. And it's more like a career mode if you want to, or if you will. It's That's pretty neat. Um... Jay, if they add Recycling Center, that would be very amazing. Yeah. It, th there are so many options that they can actually throw out there, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward for everything. Um, you may, may remember earlier I said um, more licenses mean you also need more money to do stuff. Obviously, the bigger licenses also make you earn more, like this one. 30000 for a thing. That's just a bunch of tanks. Three drop-offs, though. Um, which I don't even know. I don't even know what three drop-offs means. I don't think you do it all in the same place. But yeah, they get more complicated and other things. Here's a hauler that I don't have because I don't have long one. And I won't have long one until I have multiple units. Then we have steel mill. We just came from here. Um, both of these are steel mill, obviously. And if I had multiple jobs, let's see what that one costs. Um, go away. Licenses. Multiple units, manual, logistics. Can I do multiple jobs right away? Concurrent jobs here. 20,000. Yeah, these are, these are expensive. So I don't really want to do them right now. Because once you get these again, your price for everything else goes up. And that's not helpful. So let's just grab the one that pays the most. They pay exactly the same. Get to the validator, say I want this, pick up, what are we picking up? D30. Oh, these are cool. When you, when you bring some tracks out here, you have to load them and unload them, but that's for shunting. D30. Um, and my train currently is looking the wrong direction, but we can fix that. So let's get in here. I pressed F there to get in. Um, you are not on. Now you're on. Go this way. Forwards. Go, please. <clears throat> oh, actually, I can just shunt it out this way. Or push it out this way, and then I can take the, the other shortcut. That'll be nice. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Um, how many of you guys have seen the live stream today from earlier? Just curious. It, it, obviously, it's okay if you didn't. Yeah, you can only go so far here. Try not to derail. 
Um, com radio. I would like you to go that way. Did I make it? Yeah, the switch is right there, so I can actually do this. And then may as well do this. Um, D30. So not this one, but this one. Yep, and then I can just push those out. And then I can turn around on the other side, and they'll be good. Do this. I gotta get used to that teleporting, because the running, the running is fine, but on a video it's just... Oh, you're still running. Cool. Like, eh. You don't need to see that. There's lag? Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, that. That is the... On the F button, I'll, I'll show you. Pressing F right now, and there's like a little dot there. If I press it really fast... Um, it's like teleporting or fast travel. You move a little faster than what you run. Yes, it's not lag. You, you got me worried there. You can't use lag on a live stream. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get that one in there. Um, below 10 is kind of what I'm aiming for. That's good. Really far away. Let's read what we're having at today. Wasn't able to ha to. I had to do some overtime at work today. Well, sorry to hear, but it's it's uh, it's available for replay if you care. Just happy you could make it to this one. Yeah, I I didn't plan on doing anything, but I really want to play this game. I just need to go through this whole um, preamble, and honestly, right now when I play, I record. I haven't played many games just for fun on the side. I did a little ETS over lunch some days, but generally everything that I play, I'm recording, because why not? Um, if someone enjoys it, cool. If nobody enjoys it and I can hear it, then I just pick a different game. Um, and that is all cool. Uh, brakes are almost charged. Brakes are the roar, all good. Let's push out this way. I don't have to change the see there we go I don't have to change the haha <laughs> I forgot one thing I think oops <laughs> the F key is helping I don't think I flipped these switches excuse me no you're open I think we're good I don't have to sw uh, switch any of the switches just because they will switch themselves if I go over from this side. Am I making a series out of the ga this game? Not a series. I think it, that's too boring. Um, it's more a every once in a while I just throw something in there because if I play Train Some World or this one or ETS 2, probably it's very similar. But I don't think there's a real series in this. But I think it's a cool live stream one because there's not too much going on. I have enough time to read whatever's going on over here on the chat. Um, and I can still make enough mistakes to make it entertaining on this side. Um, but obviously, opinions uh, vary there. Train break. If anyone's curious, this is the train break, a locomotive break. This is the train break. This one activates all the brakes on the wagons. This one activates the brake on the locomotive. When I started playing this, I didn't know what the difference was, but now it all makes sense. Let's uncharge it. If I would use this one with a lot of wagons, I would never stop. This is really all that means. Let's get you going this way. We have to wait until the wagons all charge. And once they are charged... Actually, I wanted to look at one thing before we do that. Um, can I stand up, please? Arrow through, arrow through. That's what I wanted to see. Everything looks fine, but it appears that we have really full uh, steel hoppers, so they are heavy. I hope I can even get up the mountain, but we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. We'll slip. No! Crash a thousand tanker cars. Yeah, that sounds lovely, but if I can even... Until I can even make a train that size, I can't do anything. And at that point, once you crash that many, your fees for everything will be ridiculous. 
And you can probably not play that save anymore. Just side note. I don't actually know if we can make it up the hill. I need a lot of speed for that. So let's start working. Um, handbrake. Let's just turn you off. Maybe that will help a little with the speed. Have I mentioned that I'll probably make a lot of mistakes here? Yeah, that's what happened there. Come on over here. Um, pretty sure all the switches are set right. You're... No, wait, you're... It was set right. Everything back is released, and everything forward is not released. It's not complicated, really. I need to speed up a little bit here because we're going up a hill. We're going to go up a long hill. This is a sand button. Actually does something. It exists in Trains on World 2 as well. But it doesn't always help. There we go. And now speed limit is 70, so just crank it up. Okay, let's run the sand a little bit. Yep, steel wagons look happy. Now I'll go as fast as my little engine can. Once this one gets in the yellow, we have to start worrying about stuff. But as you can see, I'm going uphill. That's all I get. All I got to go on. Any other questions for any um, workers and resources stuff or anything else? We don't have to stick to this game. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to play a different one. I'm not sure how many more jobs I'll do tonight. Um, oh, that, that little bell just means this light turned on and we are in the yellow now. Once we're in the red, we have to um, do a little more than hope and pray. But if we reduce this, that should help. 60. Not good. Um, slow you down a little bit. Because derailing is pretty easy in derail valley. Okay. Slam that brake. It should still all be set correctly, which will be cool. Uh, 50? Yeah, we're close enough to 50. Fine. See if they bounce. Nope, they look happy. Um, if they implement the multiple services on here, then all the switches will randomly also change, which will increase your... Which will change your game experience. It may be good or bad. But right now, all these switches will always be what I set them last, unless there was an update. So... It's technically pretty easy if you know that you just want to go between A and B, so in this case Steel Mill and um, Goods Factory Town. Then you never have to change any switches, but you're also never going to see anything else off the map. And there are a couple hidden features. I believe there is a car available somewhere. I don't know where. Actually, I, I heard it's in the near the house, and the house is here. Um, which we haven't seen yet, but I'm not going to run there today because it's a really, really long way to get there. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a cool harbor out here with a really large switchyard. That is nice, but it's hard, really hard to get there because this is on top of a mountain and this is in a valley. Um, so, yeah. It all matters a little bit, and it's a little harder if you only have one little shunter to go with. I guess at some point, if you can't make it up a mountain, you just have to take less cars at the same time. Well, that's not helping. Justin, sorry I was walking the dog, but the F key function is nice to have if your map is massive. Yeah, you can... You can only skip so far, but yes, you can travel like that, kind of. It's, but it's kind of annoying. It takes a little bit away of the map. But yeah, no, for, for the short stuff here, it's helpful, especially for the videos, I think. Jay, I think the improvements they have made so far are amazing for works and resource. I think they could do some general improvements on performance. Peter has done um, some improvements that I can feel on my Season 1 save. Um, I got about 5 more frames per second with what he did. He just changed how often paths are calculated and... Um, citizens get updated. I think right now it's every one millisecond and I change it to every three. Um, and that's helping a lot. And he also, from what I heard, um, doesn't only does computations in the field of view, 
not outside the field of view anymore and that is helping too so if you look straight down your fps will always be relatively good if you look uh, far like very horizontal your fps is going to be worse so there are some improvements that they're working on i think what they really have to do is work on utilizing the hardware because when i play workers and resources the max utilization i get is 25 percent on my ram and cpu and gpu so it's not it doesn't use anything, and most of the GPU usage is usually from um, recording. So that's what I would like them to do. Um, utilize the hardware so we can actually do something, but... I think what they've done so far is pretty, pretty cool if you look at what, how much is going on in on every map. What kind of dog do you have, Justin? Oh, we got 10 viewers. Kind of impressed by that. Didn't expect this game get much attention, but maybe we're hoping to see some work on the resources. A dash hound. Dash hound named Courage. What is a dash hound? Do you call him that, or is he... Is it just a hound that dashes after things a lot? I, I, I don't mean to sound rude, but I'd never heard that name before. But now I'm curious. Is that a thing I have to Google? Probably. That's what people do nowadays, huh? Just throttling down because heat is up. Still have everyone? Everyone aboard? Excellent. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, this works. <laughs> Wait, are you saying now whiny dog? Instead of a uh, dash hound? <laughs> I hope I'm not laughing at uh, at the wrong thing, but that sounds great. <laughs> Stupid autocorrect. I respond to most of the comments on the channel with my phone, and man... Sometimes I go back and read things, I'm like, what happened here? Why? Why would you think that's what I tried to say, Google, or whatever? Uh, Google's tapped on my phone. Yeah, Google is doing the autocorrect. That's that's what I'm sticking with. Dachshund. Uh. Ah, I see. Well, that's fun. Fun little guy. It's midnight here, so I'm assuming you're not walking a dog at midnight. Do you want to tell me where you're from? Probably start figuring out where I'm taking this. Um, here's a job. So there, steel mill, B3I. Okay. Station map. Steel mill. B is on the right, that's where we're going. And then 3I is left, left, right. Unless I'm very wrong. Um, map, where are you? We are here, and north is north, and we are going... Oh, I just, I just have to look at it. B3I, where are you? That speed is fine, honestly. It appears that the higher numbers are on the right, and the lower numbers are on the left. So, we need you to go left. Good. But the next one, I don't want to go left. 
Not you, but you, please. Easy enough. Now we can just drop off right here. Take this thing away. Take off the throttle, because we don't need you anymore. And go far enough into the siding that everything fits in, but also for a job that may come later. Um, connect the train together. Or if we have to, we can connect the train together. Usually, they're shunting right after this, so when you move a train from A to B, <clears throat> one of the next jobs is always, oh, now you can shunt that same train into wherever it needs to go. And that is... A little different because you usually move a lot of cars to a lot of different places. Do this, do this, do this. Where is. Oh, it's over there. And F, 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 F. Oh, too far. Eh, come here. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. Yes. In progress, excuse you. SM, steel mill, B3I. Did I go to not B3I? Where am I? B3I. That I'm pretty sure of. I am not connected anymore. I'm doing pretty okay, but move cars from GF D30 to SM B3I. Steel mill. I am at the steel mill. I am on the correct place. Here's my job again. CBK 464. CBK 2. Hmm. I see. It appears... I... picked... the wrong... <laughs> everything. Let me look. I mean, these numbers actually matter. Um, and I don't have the right wagons. So, yeah. Easy mistake. Everyone could have done that. I guess I just have to cancel that job and not get the $10,000 for that. Or whatever the money is. What we got here? Ducks on Midnight Gang. Whoop, whoop. Yep, that's what we are. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Polish. So you are right next to my home state, Germany, which means it's a little off to seven for you, right? But in Ukraine, are in sorry bad English. Oh, how, how far, how further along is Ukraine? Another hour? So maybe a little after eight? Yeah, your English is fine, Justin. Um, excellent. So, yeah, um, I messed this up, but I'm not going to go back and I'm not going to start a new one because, hey, it is after midnight and I just wanted to check out if this is something I should even do on the channel. Um, I don't really have an answer yet. That I answer to that yet. I'm hoping there will be some comments about this because ETS2 had a lot of comments for people saying, yeah, definitely play this. But ETS2 is also almost 10 years old now. This one is less than about a year, maybe. There are all these things that you can interact with, but honestly, all you can do is just throw them around. It's neat. There's a computer. You can take this with you if you really want to. <laughs> but why? There's another one. There's a printer, because every office needs a big whoopin' printer. What's going on here? There's a window. It's cleaning. Um, ooh, there's an upstairs now. I don't think I've seen that. Why is there a waiting room upstairs in a rail yard? Um, a big office desk. Interesting. Clipboard. And I clip clip things to the clippy clip board can i throw you mm, nope well honestly that's all i have 
Uh, Jay, you think I should definitely play this? I will probably definitely play it a few times. I will see how videos do, um, but I will probably pick it up again at least for a couple live streams because it is a fun game when I don't make mistakes, and sometimes you should just make sure that what you're doing is the right thing to do. Um, what do I do here? I don't want that. I don't want to reprint jobs. I think all I can do here... Because right now I can only have one job at the time. I can throw you in there and that cancels you? It's gone forever. Yeah, it's a trash can. It should mean I don't have an active job. So if I click here... Yeah, you're not printing anything because I cancelled that job. So, excellent. It is very relaxing if you do it right. Unless you explode everything and then... <laughs> it's different. Um, Yeah, that's all I have. This was fun. Thank you guys for coming out, um, or waking up with me, or all the things. Really appreciate it. I... What's going on? There's a video tomorrow that's Transport Fever that wasn't a schedule. The new series, the pretty series, is starting on Tuesday. There's a correction video on Monday about something that I talked about last Monday. And then we'll see from there. I, I said in a stream today, I'm probably going to try to do less than seven videos a week. That was a... Not as stressful last three months or four months, but it is work at some point, and I don't want it to be work. It should still be fun. So ex expect Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, most likely work and resources most of the time, but um, maybe something else. This next time, look at the freight car numbers. Yeah, I may. <laughs> maybe I will. What is the ideal way to build a commie block? You take a bunch of commies in a square, and then you have a commie block. That's all I got. Um, it's late. I'll let you guys go. Um, thanks for hanging out. It was fun. I'll see you again next time. Um, bye.